It's a clear morning when we arrive in Walker. The main street is full of autumn colour. It's a lovely town with loads of character. It's the oldest town in the New England region. It's nice to wander the historic streetscapes. It's been very dry out Walk Away this year, but it's still a charming place. I pop in for lunch at Walker Royal Cafe. You can't beat bangers and mash. And now, what we've really come to see, Walker's famous open-air sculpture gallery. Tall ones that reach for the sky, some you can sit in and admire the view. These sculptures say a lot about Walker's artistic heart. They hold up verandas. They make you wonder. They invite you to sit and think. They even greet drivers at the entrances to town. We're staying in a little B&B just out of town. Kearney Country Cottage was such a nice surprise. Flowers and homemade biscuits, all set in a lovely garden. The fire was so cosy. The next day, we're off in search of waterfalls. It's a nice drive out to Oxley Wild Rivers National Park. Just a short, easy walk and you'll be at Tyre Falls. It defies the region's dry spells and has almost never stopped flowing. OK, off again, this time to Aspley Falls. We're told the falls are dry today, but the gorge is worth a look. And it sure was. Back to town for lunch at Café Grey's. Tops off another great day in Walker.